What's up everyone? So I wanted to come on real quick and talk about lat pull down maintenance regardless if you have the plate loaded system or the selectorized system. And the reason I'm making this video is because I'll be 100% honest. I've had this rack since 2020, like summertime, and I've had the lat pull down system since like the fall of 2020. And in that time with the plate loaded system, as terrible as it sounds, I never maintained it. And by maintenance, I mean like I never got around to lubing the rods or lubing anything on the system. And I'm low key ashamed, but also super happy that nothing that could have gone seriously wrong with it, with the system itself went wrong. So it all still works really well. This is literally gonna be the first time I do this. So I figured why not just take a quick video of it. There is one other thing that I wanted to mention before I get to the lubing part. If you look directly behind me or right above my head, uh, you'll notice that the pulley system is slightly turned or drastically turned to the right or to the left. That's because of the cable system itself. Let me get out of the way so you get a clear shot of this. So you'll see that this is turning to the left. This is something that I actually do try to keep an eye out for on a regular basis, uh, typically on Mondays because that's when my workout week starts. Now, usually this happens when you're using either the lat pull down or the low row and you throw on the bar and you're like turning it and not realizing it that you keep turning it in one typical direction. The little hooks on there do somewhat spin, but not drastically i mean they're still attached to the cable so the cable is gonna turn or you're just like throwing on an attachment um, and you're turning the hook to attach the <laughs> pull down attachment or the low row attachment on there for emphasis of the video i did turn it a few times just so that y'all can see and so that it would be obvious so that you would notice this but it does happen now i'm gonna show you real quick it's really not that big of a deal or that big of an issue. Um, it's just a matter of unclipping the chain links at the bottom. And I'm gonna do this in real time, so hopefully this shows up uh, correctly on the video. Um, but yeah, so literally I'll just come down here um, and I'll just unhook this and you'll, it'll just, it should just spin back to its normal position. Um, and that's really it. Now in, in instances, where it is very drastic because again i turned it a few times a bit drastically um in those instances where it's this bad i may also unclip the center piece here now like i said i i did do it a bit one too many times just for the sake of dramatics um but oh another <laughs> Now that I did do it, I might as well just get this over with because this looks really, really terrible. Um, so I'm just going to do it right now real quick while you're all on here. So, yeah, I actually likely... Oh, there we go. I'm just going to... Okay, should be fine now. Okay, all right. So, make sure this is the middle. Just turn this back. Should be roughly the middle. And Just one more check before I continue. Oops. Make sure this is all good. Oops. Make sure this is all good. Da -da -da -da. Oops. Go. Go. Alright. Oops. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Alright. So that took a lot longer than I thought it would take. Um, I guess I turned it way too many times <laughs> for the purpose of this video. But as you can see, it looks a lot better than it did before. Um, and that is one of the things that I keep an eye out for. I'm usually at the beginning of the week uh, when I am gonna start using the lap pulldown. 
just to make sure that everything is running smoothly um, and functioning properly. Now for the main part, the part that I never did when I had the play loaded system, this is the first time that I'm going to be lubing this up. So I have my handy dandy microfiber rag. You can use any rag. I'll link these in the description below. And I have uh, some silicone lubricant. I'll also link this in the description below. My understanding is all you have to do is wipe it down. Essentially, that's really going to be it. You wipe it down first. And then once it's wiped down, spray it on and then just get rid of the excess and that's essentially it. I am gonna use the microfiber towel to kind of just maybe not over spray into the wall or whatnot, but that's essentially all I'm gonna do is just spray this real quick. Make sure nothing gets on the cables. You don't need to lubricate the cables. So that's that's that on that side. Uh oh, left-handed. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Get some on there. Man, that's it. That's that is it. Now you're probably asking, yo, LJ, what about the pulley system? Like you're not gonna do anything about those? Honestly, there seems to be a bit of mixed information online. Some people seem to say to lube the pulley system. Others seem to say don't lube the pulley system because they're sealed bearings. I don't know, but the pulley system I know is working just fine. Now I did reach out to the support team at Rep Fitness because this is a Rep fitness lap pull down product. And I asked if the pulley system needed to be lubed and this is what they said. In their showroom, they only lube the rods and they do it every two or three weeks. So as far as I'm concerned, if they're just lubing the rods, I'm just going to lube the rods. I don't know. From what I read, you should be doing it once every one to three months. Um, I'm sure it depends on usage. So I am likely going to stick to doing this maybe once every three months. Um, <laughs> don't judge me, okay? It's better than before. So, <laughs> okay. So do not wait two years to loop the rods. When I converted from the play system to the selectorized system, I did wipe the pulleys down a bit. So as far as I am concerned, that's going to be good enough for me. I don't want to mess with it since they're working just fine. If I do for whatever reason see any issues, then that's likely when I'll consider uh, lubricating them. But let me know what y'all think. If you do have a system, any type of lap pull down system, let me know in the comments. Do you lube the pulley system? If you have a lap pull down system or any type of pulley contraption, let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm, I'm here to learn just like y'all are. So uh, hopefully uh, we find the best way to do this um, and put this to rest. So thanks again for watching. This is your boy LJ and I'll catch you next time.